When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I didn't that day decide to take my life. But within the first couple weeks, I decided that I would plot my suicide. I couldn't imagine going through 28 rounds of chemo and relying on the very people that took care of me for the entire year. My friends were tired. My family was tired. I was exhausted. And my mind was in the wrong place. I really thought, really logically thought, that I would be doing my family and my friends a favor if I took myself out. But I didn't die. I didn't take my life. What happened next was I told all my friends and my family that this was a, what I was going to do. And the reason I wanted to tell them was because I didn't want them to feel guilty after I was gone. Um, my son was in boarding school, and he was supposed to come home that first weekend after I was diagnosed with cancer. And he got in trouble at school, and he couldn't come home. So I waited to take my life. The next weekend, he was supposed to come home from school, and he got in trouble. So I waited to take my life. Three weeks, he got in trouble at school. And every day that he was not home, my friends came up. They showed up at my house, and they taught me that my life was worth saving, that they would never forsake me, that none of them would leave my side, and that I would get through this, and that God had such big plans for me and such a big story and I believed them. I finally believed them. And they never left my side. 